Okay, today's video is about this Crayola Signature Brush and Detail Dual Tip Markers. So I already cut it and see. Looks like. Ooh. Low key looks like New York though. I guess it is New York. But I'm going to New York and. Uh, around. Around. I don't know. Around November, last week of November. Uh, let's open this, shall we? I'm excited. Anyway, feel free to like skip around while I open this and struggle. Open this with one hand. Uh, I don't know if it's bad. You don't really know what to do. Uh, okay, ASMR. Wow. Wow. I mean. Yo, this is a really nice tin box, though. Oh, dude, dude, just look at this. Wow, dude, looks so nice. Okay, feels like um, kind of like a hard plastic sort of. Looks nice. Still feels like Crayola. <laughs> Like the rest of other Crayola products. I don't know. It's like my first brush uh, pen from Crayola. I need to swatch this. But so far, a hey, so you will know. I guess this is the fine tip. Uh, I don't know. But this looks like the fine tip. Right? So the light color is definitely the fine tip. And then the bold color is defin definitely the brush tip. Nice. I feel like I need to, I, I don't know which paper I need to use. But this is the first layer. And this is the second layer. I wonder if I can just throw out the plastic and just put everything in the one box type thing. Let's do that. Let's do that, shall we? Although I feel like it might be good if I just put it like... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about it. But I feel like I should just take it out of the plastic. So I can put more stuff inside the tin can. Alright. Ooh! Ooh. Yes. Alright. I feel like I ruined it for everyone. Including me. <laughs> but dude, now there's more space. And I'm gonna throw these things out. Maybe not the, the back of the box. I don't know. The hoarder in me wants to keep the back of the box. But dude, it looks good. Looks good though. Okay, I wish they put like this detail over here. So like over time, even though I throw this out, I will know what it is. But yeah, well, since I'm going to put this video up, well, I will know what it is. <laughs> Me how it is. Okay, let's go to swatching. Okay, I just realized that... Because I was like, wait, can I throw out the back of the box? How will I know the name? It's actually written here. See? Raspberry. But the thing is, if you're holding the other side, it's upside down. You know? Unless you're left-handed, then it's all the same, I guess. Nope, not really. <laughs> nope, not really. But anyway, let's see if they're all true to color of the, like, the cap and stuff. All right, let's test this out. The blue and the robin's egg blue. This is the brush tip. Mm-hmm. Is it close to the cap color, though? This is the bird I drew in Chicago. Close enough. Yeah, close enough to the cap. Uh, this one is a little bit... Uh, yeah, I guess it is. I guess it is. 
Hmm. I feel like the brush tip feels feels firm. Yeah, they are a bit firm. I'm using marker paper. Sorry, out of focus. Yeah, they are a bit firm. They're not too runny though. Nice. They're nice. Alright, let's do the other side. Okay, so this is the fine tip. <laughs> hold up, hold up. I'm using two colors because why not? Pretty fine. The only con I can think of is that I don't really know how much ink is in here, you know? It doesn't really say. It doesn't really say. It doesn't really say, like, how much. Or, I don't think it's alcohol-based. I feel like it's water-based because I can't smell anything. It says here non-toxic, too, which is nice. So, I don't know how much ink, though. Let me try to do this thing, although I really suck at blending and stuff. We shall see. We shall see. But so far though, like the color payoff for the brush tip, like the bold cap ones, looks really nice. The fine tip looks fine. <laughs> but let's look at the swatches, shall we? So these are the two colors that I actually use. They're a lot darker in the back than on paper but hey still looks good though still looks good let's see if i'm using marker paper the other side not so bad compared to my windsor and Newton ones like you can see like the back is you know it doesn't bleed but you can see like still this one is i yeah okay let's try to do like an ombre or whatever if i can actually even do that with my skill level okay i wrote hey now let's use the pink one and see if we'll even do anything nope i don't think my skill is up to par to actually do ombre Nah, i don't think so or maybe because i'm using a different paper i don't know I don't know. I, I haven't really mastered the ombre. But hey, <laughs> let's do some swatches, shall we? I'm sorry they're not like alphabetically like the ones when I open it first because I dump everything here. But let me try to do that and uh, save you some time. Okay, so here are all the colors. Here are all the colors in order. That I swatched them over here on this side. I feel like the tin can is a little bit too much for storage. I feel like, or, or maybe it, they use the storage to ump it up a little. <laughs> and I feel like so fancy with this tin can. But then again, you know, like maybe because they're like non toxic, or water based, I don't know, not really a pro, that they need this kind of packaging. But I feel like. They could sell this for like $10 if they just put it in like one of those plastic things. But hey, compared to those like chubby Crayola ones, this ain't so bad. It looks nice. Um, so this is like all the color swatches. The thin lines, like so these are like the brush. The brush part and then the second one is the fine liner. I feel like the yellow surprised me because I never thought they would actually put like highlighter yellow there. Other than that, I mean, pretty much, like, the fine liners is almost kind of like pastel. Um, I feel like there are some colors that's much juicier than others, but, hey, pretty nice color payoff. Um, yeah, I feel like, you know, they're a little bit more <laughs> nicer than the big ones. Uh, but I haven't actually tried the original ones, but I, I like this packaging. I love it! I love it! So, yeah, definitely use your Michael's coupon when you buy this set. 
Um, but yeah, the packaging is a bit too much. <laughs> but it looks nice though. I'm sorry. It looks nice. But yeah, that's basically it for that video. Oh, I put my receipt in there. That's basically it for this video. Um, hope you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be testing it when I go to New York. Maybe I'll bring a couple of colors. And yep. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Bye!